Hey there and happy Monday. So I hope you guys had a great weekend. Um, I had a great weekend. So a couple friends and I went to a crafting retreat just locally here um, in Wyndham as a fundraiser for um, one of the church's youth group and um, had a great time with other crafting stamping friends. So it was just um, fun for me to get away and uh, but not far away and be with um, people and just craft on my own and no pressure for me to um, be um, in the spotlight or provide anything except for bringing my stuff and having fun. So that was just a fun treat for me. Hey there, Jeannie. Good to see you. So um, I am starting a new series um, for KQ Block, just doing like a three card demo for her for her virtual party. And I've got her host code um, posted as I turn around the camera. You might want to catch that. Otherwise, I'll um, show it with the still shot when I'm done. So I'm featuring one of the larger um, sentiment stamps from the annual catalog and just pairing it with some pretty paper. Sometimes that is one of my favorite things to do and I like to show people that um, just to give you guys some inspiration for the layout and that you can take like just your regular word stamps and a lot of you will say okay I need word stamps. Um, what do I do once I get my word stamps because we all know um, word stamps are what makes your cards very versatile for so many different occasions whether it be birthday, anniversary, graduation coming up and so many other sentiments. So by showing you a card like this, hopefully you can think outside the box and find other ways that you can do, um, you know, that too. So um, let's see. Um, let's see. Oh, I'm wondering. Um, hold on one second. My iPad, um, <laughs> um, I had to kind of reset it. So we'll see here if um, if I can get this going here, sorry about that. Otherwise, I tell you what, like I say, I'm not going to um, um, do too much to make it um, miserable for you guys. Um, let's see. It's either going to go or it's not. Okay, I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to check my camera for, um, for comments. So if you guys have questions or comments, know that I'll be checking. I just can't see it on my iPad today, and that's all right. All right, so like I said, here we are with card number one for Kay, and um, I love all the hues of the pool party, balmy blue, the navy together with this pretty, pretty paper here um, by the bay. So um, yeah, Lois, I'm so glad you're on here because I think you kind of like blue coloring too, if I remember right. So um, this kind of brings in a whole bunch of different flavors of blue if, if colors could have um, flavors. <laughs> there we go. All right, so this Good Feelings is a fun stamp set for the fact that I love um, uh, stamp sets that have nice, big, bold images. And I've used some of these before for you. And I'm like, oh, this is just fun. Like sunshine makes me happy. So I gravitated towards something like this today. And so the good feelings comes from the annual catalog. Um, so the annual catalog cover this one here on page 18. So you can see all sorts of um, fun samples that they've done there too on that page. And then the other um, products like the papers and things like that, um, those are featured in the By the Bay um, kind of suite or collection, Seaside Bay um, suite of products. So I'm pulling in some of those pretty papers, and I've used some of these before for you guys, pulling in that balmy blue and white variegated ribbon. And then I'm also showing the flat adhesive back pearls, which have been very popular too, so that you can kind of get a gist for sizing on a card, what it truly looks like. I know they're good at pointing out that um, and then kind of um, like how flat are they or not flat or whatever. So that's why I like to show you some of these products um, on these videos too to give you an idea of that. And then um, so I don't forget because as I get going I am going to use some blending brushes and I've really enjoyed using the small blending brushes and they're on page 67 of the mini catalog and I put them right in this exact holder too and I love having them like at the ready that way and then after I rinse and wash them out this um little uh, storage unit too is really nice because if they're not fully dried um, when I put them in there it gives them a great way to air dry without touching each other too so um, I like both of those products so today I'm using the small blending brushes I know the larger ones have been around for a while and both sizes like say you only had small blending brushes they will fit in all of these spaces say you only had large 
or the regular normal ones that came out first of the blending brushes, they will fit in all of these spaces too. So I like to let you know that too about the product. So let me get started here. And um, my color palette, like I said, is Pool Party, Balmy Blue, pulling in some of that By the Bay um, paper here, and then just some basic white and even a little bit of vellum. I used that, I think, just last week. Hey there, Norma. So it's fun to just uh, find that again and bring that out. So um, let me start by taking my Knight of Navy ink pad here and um, my sentiment I'm just so happy for you and I'm going to ink that up here tap that all around and put that on some basic white cardstock here so isn't that fun how bold that gets I love it and um, a lot of times I don't use my stamparatus um, but I do um, it's not that I don't use it, but a lot of times I don't because I feel like I've been stamping for so many years. I kind of get the gist of the tapping on the ink and a good press. But um, sometimes with bigger, bolder images like this, the, um, hi there, Renee, the Stamparatus is great for um, being able to give you a second chance if your image doesn't seem that bold or doesn't quite get all the ink the way you want it. So um, I like to tell you guys that for that reason. So um, what I'm going to do now is um, take out my... Um, cut and emboss machine and with the vellum piece I'm going to be using my deckled rectangle dies and then um, what I'm going to set uh, cut my sentiment out with is the radiating stitches dies and the radiating stitches dies is from that online exclusive lineup of products that um, they've just given us this month of March so that's where those things are coming from so let me bring my machine over here to to you and let me put my deckled um, frame on first. I just got this out and um, it's amazing how like in just a matter of a couple days um, how many li little scratches it can get on there already but it's so nice and flat isn't that like just fun it's like it's like if a cut and emboss machine cutting plate could have a new car smell <laughs> so I love it when it's so flat all right so we've got the deckled look oops let me hold it up so you can see the vellum cardstock with the deckled edge there and then let's put this through. Um, I'm just so happy for you. And then this is that radiating dies um, frame that I'm gonna put on there too. So just put that through like so, and then that'll be it for die cutting. And then we can do the fun part of assembling. Alrighty, set that aside here. And this is what I love about the radiating dyes. They kind of just radiate sunshine. How fun is that? Love it. Okay. And hi there, Pauline. Good to see you on here and Julie. Um, all right. So let me now grab a piece of scratch paper. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with these small blending brushes. Um, so you can see here there's different colors here with my background paper. And so I wanted to incorporate that with my radiating dye. So I'm going to first open up my... Um, pool party ink pad here and that's got more of a, a greenish tint but still underlying blue and so I'm just going to like counterclockwise put that on my ink pad um, not too much because I just kind of want to see like okay how much do I have going on here because we all know our ink pads can be super juicy some days and not so much other days so it's easy to always go back and add you know some on there too like so so that's going to just catch those edges and as you can tell um then it kind of just highlights the radiating um dye images like those little hash marks on there so that's all i'm going to do with that one and then i'm going to open up oh look at my little ladybug in here they love me when it warms up <laughs> um balmy blue and that's uh, more of that light blue color. So I'm just going to do that same thing here. And then I kind of want to go over my paper to make sure that I don't have any saturated parts there. Usually I will start kind of circling over the edge of my paper as I go, but this I'm just going to put on um, the middle kind of heavier and lighter in different spots. So I don't want to mix it with my um, pool party at all. Um, just kind of want to kind of give it almost like a oh a rainbow or kind of airbrushed 
maybe airbrushed look more than anything. So really light balmy blue. And I don't even know, like with my lighting in my room, like this is so perfectly um, subtle on here. You can see some greens, you can see the blues, and it doesn't take away at all from the Night of Navy. So that's just exactly the look I was trying to achieve. So it's always fun when it stays subtle and I don't end up with any little blops or blotches because I got too heavy with my ink and my blending brushes. But I think that's also a testimony to these smaller brushes. I feel, and I know everybody has their preference, but I feel like I have a little bit more control with those, um, with the smaller ones. Um, so maybe that's it. I don't know. Maybe it's just a good day. All right. So um, what I have here for my card base is the pool party opening this way today. So um, this finished size and this five and a half by four and a quarter. And then I'm just taking my balmy blue, which is five and a quarter by four. And I'm going to um, put some adhesive on that and just layer it like so. So I'm kind of doing a double mat even before I get to my pretty paper. So um, the By the Bay is the six by six stack here and lots of pretty colors. I always thought, oh, you know, some of the sentiments like people going through a rough time or stormy weathers, um, this would be a great um, pattern for that too. But um, all of these great things and like even um, the paper that I chose today, I really like, but with the sentiment, I'm so happy for you. You could put like happy as a client or something in the inside <laughs> it kind of matches that way I was realizing as I tipped it over earlier when I was working on my sample um, to put the adhesive on so I've got this going on here like so and um, I don't know there again if you can see I'm going to try and move it around because you can see that iridescent shimmer shine kind of throughout they've got some pieces that um are kind of embossed on there and just gives it that fun look. Um, so now that we've got all those pieces, oh, and then this last one is five inches by 3.75. I wanna let you know that. And then I'm going to take my balmy blue, here it is, balmy blue and white, um, variegated ribbon. That's from that By the Bay um, or Seaside Suite collection. Um, let's see, I kind of like to have the blue towards the towards the um, binding here of my card and the white maybe towards the inside. Um, that's just me. So I'm just going to wrap this around the card like so. It's a little bit wider ribbon, but super easy to tie because it is very um, thin. It's almost like a seam binding as far as um, the type of ribbon that it is. I'm just gonna trim that at an angle here Usually I kind of stretch, end up stretching that out or fraying it when I pull it through to make my knot nice and tight. So we've got that like so. And then I'm going to, um, hey there, Pam. Hi, Deb. Thanks for popping in. Um, next, I'm going to take that piece of vellum cardstock that I cut with my deckled rectangle dies. And like any time I use my... Um, my uh, vellum, I have to make sure that I'm not getting the adhesive anywhere where it's going to show, but I can actually on this one put three nice strips kind of in the middle across there like so. You can see it there and it's going to show once I put it on here, but um, with this, um, because of the different kind of um, embossed there, it's not too bad, but I know I'm going to pop up my sentiment on there and that's gonna cover up all those strips. So today I can be pretty generous and not worry too much about the placement of my adhesive there on my vellum for you guys. So then I'm just gonna put four dimensionals on there quick. Hi there, Joyce. And then with that, I can just kind of center that over that piece of vellum. Um, I almost thought about putting like a Knight of Navy um, border, just another mat, but it seemed too dark and heavy. And maybe my brain is into spring mode or already or something. And I just like the light colors that the balmy blue and pool party looked together. So I didn't really want to bring in any more Knight of Navy, just um, the basis of the sentiment, kind of coordinating that and then those blends to put the other two colors on top of it. So I like how light um, the card turned out for that. And that's why I went with vellum instead of another color behind there, just to kind of keep things light and airy. 
So then um, for my embellishments today, I'm going to pull out these flat adhesive back pearls. So you can see that those are kind of iridescent too. And of course, Stampin' Up! plan that to go with that paper perfectly. And I'm going to kind of try and hold these sideways for the camera a little bit so you can kind of see like how flat or not flat they are for mailing. So, you know, there's some, you know, puff to it, but, um, but not and not completely flat, but they're not terrible like for mailing. I know a lot of people like to have that for consideration. So I'm just gonna put one up in the corner and then one going down, kind of just spacing that apart and then one off to the side here. So we're just gonna kind of make a triangle frame up in the corner of those and then that kind of just pairs everything so nice and neatly together. So that's gonna be my um, only embellishment besides the ribbon for the card. And then for the inside, I'm going to go right back to that same good feeling stamp set. And I've put the hip hip um, stamp and the hooray stamp um, together on one block here and put that together. So you can tell the hip hips one stamp and then the hooray I on purpose um, put that at an angle just because it makes it look more exciting I think to do that. <laughs> so that's why I did that. And I'm not gonna add any kind of image, um, just kind of letting the paper and the excitement of the big font in the words today just do itself um, for this card. So that I'm just going to put inside and my white um, piece here is four inches by five and a quarter. And I'm just going to kind of, oh, I like to let people know this little tip and maybe you guys know that. Like I feel like um, my ribbon's just off going this way a little bit. And so instead of trying to pull it, risk tearing my cardstock, I just kind of squeeze this towards me and then it's just really easy to just move that. So that's what I do instead of, like I said, trying to foil or um, you know, what something that looks nice, um, foil my plans that way. And then it doesn't tend to scrunch up the ribbon either. It leaves it flat. So that's kind of what I do. So this is card number one for Kay Keelblock's um, party that's open. She won't have her party open for too long, um, but I'm glad that she um, has stepped up to um, open up her host code because um, it's kind of nice with the retiring list happening this week. So Wednesday, Stampin' Up's gonna let us know what colors with a color refresh are retiring, what twins are going to be coming new. And then that afternoon, I'll be able to let you guys know um, kind of the current status of what's going on too. So up until that, time I'm kind of just getting excited about um, what it could be but still giving you uh, the current products that I have at my fingertips for now until we know more but know that I'm anxious thank you Lois and I will keep you guys updated and I'll still be um, uh, demoing cards tomorrow and Wednesday um, for Kay's three card demo too so if you have any questions or um, need any help ordering please let me know if you min um, order a minimum $25 um, towards anything from any in the catalogs using our host code you'll get the three cards that I'm making for free so keep that in mind if there's anything you need to help her out and I'll send those out as a thank you from both of us take care have a good evening bye-bye